Oh, a little frame rate dropped the start there. Hello and welcome everybody back to the channel again. This is Thomas from Unlucky Gaming bringing you a, another zombies video, but um We're gonna be doing this a little bit differently it's Considering this is gonna be more so an update than more me trying to just get to a high round I was thinking I would um Do a two box challenge and I think in order to do that successfully, well, I, I just don't want a super long video because I'll be honest, I, I've already recorded this video once. Um, I was doing a run of Dreisendrak and it's plausible to say that audio got messed up a little bit because I think what I realized what happened was when I'm playing this game, I talk really loud when I have both uh, headphones on. So I think personally, I think being able to like turn, taking one cuff off or like turning my personal volume down would help. Because I'm, like I said, I'm still learning the whole sound editing. Not good at it yet. <laughs> so. I, I, I record my audio through OBS just to make my life easier. That almost sobered me right up. Damn shame. But there are multiple things I want to talk about during this two box challenge. Stay out, zombies! I have a few topics um, that I've written down. And I'm going to start off with like where I went. Because that one's pretty simple. When, uh, that portal video came out, I, I recorded that right before midterms. And then after I finished, once I uploaded that portal video, I had planned on uploading something else shortly. <laughs> Starting my next series, which would have been Spongebob. Or another game if it, it, it was either gonna be Spongebob or the game that is gonna be uploaded directly after this one ah, my old friend. STG. How I, have missed you. I also don't have any uh, special gobble gums so I I had midterms I just became very busy and the sim the simply put it, I just I wanted to upload, but I just couldn't because one thing I had been focusing on, which shifts us into the next topic, I wanted to learn how to like I wanted better audio quality for my videos because if you go back anything before Borderlands and Portal is doesn't sound as good in my opinion. And although I do these videos more for fun, I still would like to present the videos in a manner where if I were, if I was a viewer, I would watch them. Like, I'd watch them for my enjoyment. Huh. I was born for this weapon. We, we got a pretty good two box. But, um,. I, so I I started kind of experimenting and Originally I was planning on doing everything through crisp Crisp is the noise suppression software that discord uses So discord uses that to drown out any excess sound and I'm pretty sure zoom also uses it Just because it's a nice easy platform that measures everything for you well, I found that while yes, I liked it, it it didn't check the boxes for me. It didn't check any more boxes than what I have set up right now. I don't have a super expensive mic. I certainly don't have XLR, which is like the Shure A7B or SM7B or like the Rode Podcaster mic, stuff like that. 
I have a Honor Q9 that came a part of a kit. And, uh... I will say... I for... For what? How much it costs compared to high quality equipment? And... With the capabilities that I know how to like... For what I know how to do, I'd say it is pretty good. It is pretty good for somebody who's learning. Because... I mean, I, I wasn't going to go out and buy the best gear right away, because what if I didn't like recording? <laughs> and it's like, oh, well, now I just have this gear. But that was just one thing that I knew it was going to take some time to figure out. And it did. It did take, like... I don't I don't really even know how much time specifically it took at least like six dedicated hours of sitting down and learning. It's just what we needed. Although some bug comes nice. And then that doesn't even include like audio testing. Like when it came to getting ready to record a game. Um I tend to kind of think of stuff like when I'm talking on the fly. I don't I don't write a script. I don't like I try to let my experience of the game be what I talk about more than commentating what I'm doing in the game. I'm more so I'm trying to share my experience. And that is why I try I I will almost never play a game for the first time on the channel. I know I did this with Mirror's Edge, and that was, uh, that was a blast, but I more so credit Mirror's Edge to getting a, helping me get my foot in the door, kind of taught me what to do, I didn't even know how to edit back then, I used DaVinci Resolve, because it is a free editing software that I mean, for how I how I currently edit the videos, I mean, it does everything I need it to. Um, I mean, I've definitely come a long way in terms of the process of making my videos. It would be really bad if I died. This in. Did you see that? It would have been kind of nice if this was speed. But double tap is fine. They would taste better if I could mix it with what? Double points. I feel like dirty capitalist. It's the kill. Yeah, but I mean, now they all die. I, I'm learning, and. I, I'm gonna have to learn at my own pace because school is my overall priority. I'm not I hear only some angry concerned about dogs. YouTube first, especially because I don't make money from it. It's more of just a hobby, something I do as a as something in my spare time. Heal, you bitch. And I'm only gonna no record games you. that like I f I want to show you, or like Perfect. More I really want to share my experience with. Cause like there are games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, where I'd be like, you know, I don't know if I'd 100% want to record this, especially cause I do like to take into consideration um, completing a game 100%. But, like, there are times where I'd want to play through the game just to, like, see if you guys have the same experience that I do. Um, I do like to try and 100% all games that I play on here, but they're just... If there is no real purpose to 100%ing it besides saying I 100%ed this... Then I probably won't do it, or if I do, I will compile all the collectibles into one video. 
And that's pretty much it for that. Um, I'll, I'll discuss that more in terms of my next topic. That is not what I wanted to say. I'm pretty sure the STG is a wall, wall weapon in this map somewhere. Which, that's what's pretty nice about it. I'll drink um, to that! But despite, like, lack of time, I go to a school that uses the trimester system. Where we have three semesters, one in fall, and then two in winter, or two in... One in winter, one in spring. And by the time that I was getting ready to record again, it was about to be finals time. Yeah, there's the SGG. Are they gonna give me Jug last? Good call, okay though. Um. I, I, that's, this is where that lack of time came, but then, when I came back home for winter break, I wanted to record, but I found myself working pretty much endlessly. I worked as much as I could, because along with bullets. videos, another bigger hobby of mine is investing. I'm a huge advocate of the FIRE movement, which is the Financially Independent Retire Early movement, which basically sets your mind where you're going to be allocating your money into the f into whatever is going to help you retire earliest. Half of these, most of the community is really built on, this makes me feel we fast. are going to try and retire button. by like 35 and I'd really enjoy that because while yes I'm going to finance at my school and I'm looking to become an investment banker at least as of right now first. why do we not share the point I <laughs> I don't want to do that forever if I had my choice honestly I'd probably go to football like, if money didn't matter in the world, 100% coaching football for probably the rest of my life. But, oh, I love getting more than I earn. Unfortunately, that's not how the world spins. And, uh... We just gotta do our best to do what we want to achieve. This is a helpful gobble gun. Especially at a moment like this, where I'm... Right. I should've been really capitalizing at double points. Taste the pain. But I'm, I'm really big on dividend investing. I like the idea of compound interest, and in that if who knows it earns it, and who doesn't know it pays it. Which... Maybe I'll make a video just simply on investing in my strategy. I'm not a financial advisor, but uh, I I can share what I personally do if you would like to attempt to replicate. Um, I'm I'm a huge fan of that, and I just wanted as much money as I can to keep feeding my formula of compound interest. You know, I, I actually will give a little brief explanation. This is on this map. Huh. Theoretically, it is smarter to... How come oh, I don't even have that. We're gonna risk it. This is probably not a smart idea. I am feeling even stronger than usual.
No, but I'm a, I'm a dividend investor, which means that, like, depending on the company, every quarter, which is a set of three months of the year, they will pay me a per... They will pay me a small portion of their earnings for investing in them. And the idea of my investing strategy is, is that whenever, like, let's say... What's the company that I know specifically? Um, Wendy's pays a 12 cent dividend. So for every share of Wendy's I own, which is somewhere in between like 18 and $25, they'll pay me 12 cents. And then let's say I own 20 shares of Wendy's. Do, what is that? I'll get paid two dollars and forty cents for twenty shares of Wendy's, and then that I'll reinvest that into Wendy's, and then next time I'll get more than two dollars and forty cents because I'll have more shares. And you basically just keep just keep letting it compound over time. I'm out of ammo. I just realized the issue that I'm running into. I have like no ammo. Um, this could prove to be quite deadly, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm just investing. I want to set up generational wealth for my future family because I, I don't like working. More ammo <laughs> be straight up, like, safe with. I'd rather be able to do whatever I want all day, but I also recognize that in order to do that. You have to set yourself up to do that. That, that really... I, I do dabble a bit in crypto, but... I, I'm not going to go too much into that, because... I, I, I've learned a lot from crypto, and... I, I would definitely say there is... Your, your risky risky parts of crypto and then what I would consider the safer risk to take on with crypto what uh, are you fucking Rasputin stay back this time water. um but I don't know when I if I make an in, uh, in depth investing video and maybe portfolio updates or something I will uh we can discuss this more I but think they all just exploded. The next thing I wanted to talk about was the Borderlands DLC. Now, <laughs> do I want to record this yet? Time to light them up. Do I know when I'm going to record it? No. In my mind, it makes sense to do it before I start Borderlands 2, whenever I start it. But I'm thinking that right now I'm only recording one project at a time. At the time of recording this, SpongeBob has. I finished recording SpongeBob three days ago. And episode nine just came out today. Um. I'm thinking that once I, like, really get a full understanding of my time management. I'm going to going to learn how to record multiple series at once. That way I kind of have a reserve going on for when I'm wanting to take a break. So like let's say the next game I play, let's play let's let's name a game that if I were to play it's not going to come out for a long time. Um. Let's use a game that I wouldn't show because I don't. I I personally don't think I'd enjoy recording it. Um, Halo Infinite campaign. I need more bullets, I please. I personally do not think I would enjoy that at all to record because 
I don't know. <laughs> With shooter campaigns seem pretty linear. It's like, why would I... I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like it would just be a little easy. But I feel like it doesn't have that much depth. But we'll use Halo Infinite. Like, let's say I'm... I, I record Halo Infinite and in the Black Ops 3 single player at the same time, but I upload Halo Infinite. Just what we needed. Then I, when I want to take nice. a break, I have that Black Ops 3 campaign for when I'm wanting some downtime. I'm thinking after my next... I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do with Borderlands. I'm thinking... Borderlands isn't going to be something I strictly work on. But it's going to be something that, like, while I'm, I'm, I'm going to record my next series, but after that, I'm going to juggle that, the Borderlands DLC, and something else. Just so I can kind of have an aligned schedule of release. And I do want to play some relatively long games. And that's where my question of 100%ing comes in. And it's really just going to come to the point of what what games do I get? Because longer games exist, the closer you get to present time releases. My the next game I'm going to play is over 10 years old, and probably won't take that many episodes. Which is fine. But as I progress through that franchise, the games can get pretty long. Even with Borderlands. The newest release is like a How dare you touch me? 30 hour story alone. That's double the amount of time it takes. The story alone takes double the amount of time I can 100% Borderlands 1 in. Which. I think it's kind of ridiculous, um, but eventually we'll get there. Cry havoc! They have let loose the dogs of war. But my, we'll, we'll shift into the next topic because I've covered how I want to handle the Borderlands DLC and how I want to progress moving forward. Um, these fucking dogs are huge. I. Fear me, hellhounds! The next game after the next game I play will upload either the day after this die. game or two days after. Because I am gonna be going home for Super Bowl weekend. And I won't have an access to a computer that I can record from for four days. Because I'll go home on a Thursday night, because Friday is off. So, I, my next franchise is coming out soon, and this is where I go back to that topic of 100%. The game I'm about to play has a lot of collectibles that don't really have much meaning. <laughs> like, if I'm going to be honest. Like, yeah, they're nice to collect, I guess. Points are overrated. The fun Steam doesn't really have counts. achievements. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. All the. I I. I knew I would have lived. I just did not want to risk that right there. Um. But. There's nearly 500 collectibles, and while I see the point to grabbing them, I also don't. Crazy! Because we don't get like a special cutscene or anything. Death to all who oppose them. We don't get a special cutscene or anything, and. 
we, we just don't, we don't get anything that's really crazy hey we need we need to do this More so if i do save with. show all the collectibles i'll do it in a side video and uh that would be a super long video be more like a bonus video sort of like in the style that my last episode the episode of spongebob that comes out episode time of the SpongeBob, uh, series that's my best direct comparison because well except way longer unless i do it in separate episodes Dingo just melts. Burn in hell, Satan's minions. But, yeah, I mean, that's really what I wanted to cover. I, my plan going forward with my next let's play or walkthrough, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. Um. Yeah, I, I mean, I covered everything. Now I guess let's just survive in this game of zombies. Uh, I do have class soon. We'll see if we run out of ammo. If we run out of ammo, then... That's gonna suck. I wanna I wanna get some kills with the flogger. Well, you know, we can do that. I just realized the dingo says slap slap. Right there on that little handle. Not handle the not handle the the ammo thing. I will kill them all with this! That would not have been good if that. Oh, I'm on the other side of the vlogger now. That wasn't as satisfying. I want to get like a good horde together. next round keep that fire away from my vodka um what is more plans going forward i do want to include more people into the channel um Especially doing the Easter eggs for zombies, that would be pretty cool. Dogs! Um, Who's hungry? Yeah, doing the Easter egg would be a lot of fun. In my opinion. Um, also, playing games with friends of that when I can. I am very limited. In one of, like, my only, like... One of the only kids in my friend group that consistently plays on PC. Because a lot of my friends did move to PS5, and I did not, because I just frankly never really had the money for one, because, as I said before, I invest a lot of it. Um, I think... I think we might end the game after this round. Nice little round 20 box challenge. We, we did get two really good guns. No, I'll use the SDG. Um, but yeah, I I think the next zombies video you get will be with my buddy Cameron. We'll be playing Cold War because that's the only one we can play together. 
Um, which is unfortunate because if I had the meat, if, well, I'm down. that was not the intention <laughs> because I want to use the flogger. I want to use the flogger before this game ends. I think Jug's along well, this, they still don't trust double you. Line. this path. Oh no! I'm gonna grab a quick revive. This gun's That's not as strong Almost without double tap. Be nice. Oh, well. <laughs> not as strong without double tap, for sure. But, yeah, my next my next in Zombies video will be... Thanks. That was close. On Cold War. I'm gonna die, aren't I? If there's anybody down these stairs, I'm dead. I don't I haven't had that glitch happen in a while. Oh, I think Mule Kicks this way. Oh, it is double tap right here. I guess I do have a chance to survive then. No! You know, that's fine. I guess we can spin my liquid divinium and see if I got anything good. It's it. It's pretty good though. Nice little short update video. A little longer than I would typically say for an update video, but you guys got some content out of it. Even though Shino Numa isn't the most exciting map to be playing. Um. Oh, we unlocked the Brecky. Brecky, Brecky. What do we get? Probably won't ever use these. Aftertaste is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, next time we play together, next time I play on, uh, play zombies, I will 100% be playing on Cold War with one of my buddies. If not, I might, if it isn't that video, then I might play one of these other maps. You also have custom zombies. I would be interested in bringing some custom zombies to this uh, channel, but we will have to. Uh, I have to get there first. Um, definitely this map. This map was really fun. Of the Dead remastered. I probably want to do that if I want to. If if I want to bring that, that map to the channel, we'll play on Black Ops 2. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your understanding on why I disappeared for like four months. And I really hope you enjoy the content that's coming out and be on the lookout for more zombies. I'll promise zombies once a month, at least once a month. We'll shoot for twice a month, but at least once. I can make that deal with you guys. Alrighty. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, peace out.